Aunt. That goon was on the same train as Anne, the one she was supposed to be taking to London. I dare say. Is that the best you can do? And what is this place, anyway? A weekend retreat for your fancy boys? Not ours. It's run by, shall we say, one of our allies. I believe they've been vetting Anne. Vetting? And what's that a euphemism for? Look, Cred, it's all been very tricky. Officially, this place doesn't exist. And for that matter, officially, Department 7 doesn't exist either. Uh, we've had to negotiate at ambassadorial level. It's been like a dialogue between two ghosts. Well, what do they want with Anne in the first place? They wanted to infiltrate our unit. You just said they're our allies, for God's sake. <sighs> Formally, yes. Uh, but in the field of mind control, the first to master it masters the world. It appears they were a little concerned that we might be ahead. Are you condoning what they've done? Naturally not. But because they are the big boys and we want to play with them from time to time, we depend on their cooperation. If they decide to go in for a little bit of rule bending, then we rule just have to... Rule bending? Anne's been missing since Monday. What the hell have they been up to? Brainwashing. Mr. Crane, I'm sorry we haven't been introduced, but I don't think my name would matter to you. Would you like to come along and see Dr. Reynolds? You're damn right I would. Look, I don't think you can do that right at the moment. Why not? Well, they're still in the middle of procedure. It could be dangerous to interrupt. Still in the middle, I told Norton to stop over an hour ago. Well, there are no go lights still on outside. Outside where? The processing room. Look, you can sit around here all day. I'm gonna get this thing stopped. Let's go. Now, for God's sake, it could be dangerous. For whom? Middle of a session, the subject, of course. person, oh boy, is it? Oh, does. When I think of what a close thing it was, a matter of minutes. Forget about it. I'm fine now. You seem to be... I said I'm fine, though I'm touched by your concern. I don't think you realize how near you came to being completely brainwashed. Like that other poor devil. Shay, was it? Something must have gone very wrong there. The only thing that went wrong was he escaped. Acted out what he'd been programmed to do too early. <laughs> don't tell me Drexel programmed the man to kill him. He was after someone else. I suspect it was me. So why did he kill Drexel? Who says he did? It all happened in total darkness. Well, Roy said they found the man about a mile from the house, having shot himself with the same gun that killed Rex. And if he did kill him, why didn't they find the gun beside him? All right, let me ask you a question. If he didn't kill Drexel, who did? Someone with a motive. No, they won't. Too many embarrassed faces in the higher echelons. They can't cover up a man's death. Two men's deaths. Watch them. 